We're very grateful to Richard Saltoun for having lent these beautiful works by John Latham to the exhibition here at Guildhall Art Gallery. And we have the pleasure to have him with us today. And I would like to ask him, what does he remember about this great artist? Richard. Um, thank you, Arietta. Um, well, I think I met John about uh, in the year 2000, um, a few years before he, uh, before he passed away. And um, well, what do I remember about him? I mean, the, 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 the reason I went to see him was because I considered him to be one of the most radical and innovative uh, artists working in Britain in the second half of the 20th century. And, um, and, I, and I wanted to meet him. Um, I have to say that, that I met him towards the very end of his life, um, where he, when he was quite frail. Um, but generally speaking, um, he was, at times, incomprehensible, but nevertheless remained a very radical artist to the very end of his life. Yes, absolutely. And um, Richard, will you tell us about his works, please? Yeah, well, we, we, have, um, we have four works here on display. And um, perhaps the, the, the right way to, to look at them would be to do it chronologically. Um, the first work is a little uh, aluminium foil uh, poster which shows John burning a tower of books at some point, I think, in the 1960s. And the work is called Lies, 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 Truth. And the work makes the simple point that things that are published in books are not necessarily always the truth. And of course now, with, in, in our current times of reading about fake news all the time, this work is very poignant because it makes the, 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 the simple point that what we read is not necessarily the truth. Uh, the second work is a magnificent spray painting, um, significant in many ways. Uh, John was one of the first artists to start to use the spray gun as a form of applying paint to, to a canvas. And he started to do this in the uh, mid-1950s. Um, this work here is, is later, but nevertheless shows a very daring use of spray gun. The work's quite interesting because it's reading as, as a film strip. And the idea of, the idea of making a painting to resemble a film strip an abstract film is, is, is quite innovative. Um, John himself was a filmmaker and had made films from, I think, the late 1950s, early 60s onwards. So the fact that he's painting a picture of a film strip is in itself very interesting. Um, and finally, we've got two small uh, glass and book pieces. These were the kinds of things John was doing towards the very end of his life, where he was just getting off cuts of glass, broken shards of glass, and gluing fragments of books to those glass. Um, John had made a very significant work sometime, I think, in the 90s called God is Great, which the Tate uh, famously had refused to show because they considered it to be blasphemous. And these works, these two works here on display relate to that work um, of combining uh, a fragment of a book um, with a sheet of glass. We are very grateful to Richard Saltoun for lending us these works. And on behalf of the Sir Dennis Mann Charitable Trust, we'd like to thank him and also Flat Time House for lending us this magnificent work of art, which has never been shown before in public and is shown here for the first time at the Guildhall Art Gallery in the City of London.